started an IT consulting company and was elected president of MSCSA all at the age of 18. And that's pretty, pretty wild. I think a lot of people. leadership the MSCSA and Navigator Association through uh, many challenges this year. Uh, I would definitely describe Tyler as a problem solver and a person who is able, able to quickly grasp a situation, uh, provide confident leadership through it in a very uh, in a way where he's under pressure quite a bit. And he's had multiple opportunities at the legislature and at MISCU to do that, done a fantastic job. In thinking about Tyler's future, I was envisioning some kind of fast-paced IT business uh, job that he'd have. And uh, one day he came into my office and he said, so I signed up for the National Guard. And I, I remember looking at him and going, what? <laughs> and, and it's not because, like, I, I definitely value the military and, and, and admire the people who spent there, but I just never thought, like, I didn't understand how that correlated to his career path. And the reality is, is I'm not sure if it completely does, but what, it, what I really, um, came to find it is amazing is that looking at why he wanted to serve in the military. And he wanted to do it because he wanted to serve our country and also he wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. <laughs> so tomorrow afternoon, Tyler reports to his new challenge with the Minnesota National Guard and leaves Monday for Fort Jackson in South Carolina. So you're not wasting any time, no time off for you. Uh, our state's National Guard will be lucky to have you. Uh, be safe and uh, good luck. And we're proud of you.